Hello, boys and girls, my name is Hotzosi and welcome back to another day in Minecraft, of course, without mining. And we are back here uh, at our farming project for 2x2 two two trees and in the chest below me we have some blocks that we will need for today's project. Probably there will be some leftovers, but uh, you can see it's quite a bit what we need because today we will build a piston wall that pushes all the locks over and breaks all the leaf. Um, so let me build the first set uh, because there are several layers and then we see how that is supposed to work. And here we have it, the first layer or the lowest uh, flying machine that will push everything over. And uh, in the initial design we had here some obsidian, but I thought maybe that's a bit too expensive. Uh, that's why I decided Hmm, let's use some jack o' lanterns for which we built a farm last time uh, because jack o' lanterns do not stick to slime and are not movable. And they are not stickable to slime, but they can be moved. So, what I decided instead here is to go with crying obsidian. A block that's otherwise not used uh, that often and the reason I went with that block is that it gives off light uh, which is a bit a uh, problem here in this build because on all these layers mob could theoretically spawn and with a bit of light in there that is avoided. However Let's have a look at what we have here going on. So down there, that's where the signal comes up. And basically this, this last line is uh, moved around. And uh, this pistons here, this one and this one, is both powered by this redstone block. So when this block moves up and down, piston gets updated, extends and triggers this observer which basically pushes this first flying machine forward and we have stop blocks back here so that it is halted when it comes back. Right, so one mechanism starting off two flying machines and these flying machines then basically push uh, this one uh, or more precisely it's not one it's actually i would say counting on the obsidian it's it's four uh, but I could be wrong and this sticks a bit more together uh, than I thought. In that case it would only be two. But then here on the front um, basically we have the, the, the same, same set up again. Um, this flying machine gets pushed forward uh, by the, the pistons down there and uh, again we are here and here we have uh, a segment um, and the first segment is this one. This is this block, then two pistons uh, in the front one in the back and then these pistons here and this one is the first one so 
the moving of this block, this piece, this flying machine uh, triggers this flying machine, triggers that flying machine, triggers that, and so on and so on. So once we set that off back there, it flies off into the distance and over there we have another crying obsidian and that's basically the stopper block on the other side uh, when the flying machine is stopped there it returns back so let's have a night's sleep and uh, see how that actually works hopefully back here we do have a button that can be used for starting the flying machine and so far looking good uh, no blocks left behind everything is moving forward and if it uh, manages to turn around at the front then we are good I guess now I will have to build layer by layer and testing each layer if it still works because one mistake somewhere in the middle can be pretty fatal. So let's jump ahead and see how this looks once finished. The piston wall is completed and as you can see each row or each segment, each layer is a bit offset uh, because uh, then they fit uh, better together. And uh, once you have figured out the best way to uh, place the blocks, then it's a, a pretty repetitive uh, a task to do so. And it's still working and right at the top um, maybe we can see that around here no uh, but basically this line extends all the way to the top and all the way at the height of that roof we connect the redstone line to the roof to our second input and as uh, this farm when the piston wall is moving uh, it's a bit laggy and uh, there are uh, uh, glitches client side glitches uh, that sometimes it seems uh, part of the machine uh, stays behind um, so that does not really lend to uh, to give you a first per person view of how this uh, runs uh, smoothly. Uh, but I can make a recording and that should just do fine. So we'll, I will slap that at the end of this episode. And I think with our projects getting bigger and bigger, I want to get back to one episode per week so I can put the proper amount of work into it um, so that everything uh, works as it should. All right then. Uh, with that we are almost at the end uh, as promised uh, there will be the flying wall in action uh, but for me that's all so hope you enjoyed this and uh, tune in next time when we hopefully finish this farm off until then goodbye